Has your academic advisor created a semester by semester plan for you in DegreeWorks, but you're unsure how to open it? In this video, we will cover how to view your semester by semester plan. After logging into DegreeWorks, click on the Plans tab. This screen lists any plans created for you. If you click on the Plans tab and see a blank area under Plan List, that means you do not have a plan yet. You can schedule an appointment with your academic advisor to begin planning your next semester. If you do have a plan, you will see the name of the plan and whether or not it is active. Your official plan should be marked as active and locked. If you have more than one plan in your list, you should find the one that is marked Yes in the Active column and is locked. If you have more than one active and locked plan, look for the one with the most recent modified date. To open your plan, click on the description or name of your plan. You can then view the courses recommended for your upcoming semesters. Courses will be grouped by term. This column lists courses for the fall term, and here are the classes for spring. Note, these do not register you for anything. This is a plan with courses recommended for you to take by your advisor in order for you to stay on track to reach your academic goals. At the top, you can see how many credits these courses total to. Your advisor may leave you a note to help you with the additional information. You can tell there is a note because the note icon will become an active link and change to blue rather than gray. If you click on it, you can see the information on that note. Sometimes you need to take a requirement that has multiple course options and your advisor or you may not know what specific course you'll take two semesters from now for that particular requirement. In this case, your advisor may add a placeholder course. In our example here, we see EE4XX3. If we hover over the course, we see the title for this is Upper Division EE course. So here we are being told we can take any Upper Division Electrical Engineering course that is not listed as a required course in my degree plan. Upper Division courses are classes whose number is in the 3000 to 4000 range. So even though it says a 4 here, you can take a 3000 level course to satisfy this requirement. And a tip is that if you have this or any other upper division placeholder, when you go to the schedule of classes, you can search for upper division courses in a couple of ways. If I need an upper division electrical engineering course, I will enter electrical engineering in the subject. And for course number range, I can enter 3000 to 49.99. Or in the attribute field, I can select upper division course from the menu of options. If you need to take a free elective, your advisor may add a placeholder that says ELEC XXX3. This means you need to take a three hour free elective. You can add search in the schedule for a free elective. A free elective is any course that is not specifically listed in your major's degree plan. So as an electrical engineering major, I won't have any business courses as part of my major. But if I need a free elective, I could take a business class like a management or marketing course. I could search the schedule to find a course available that I meet the prereq for. If you see elect for XX3, it means you need to take a three credit upper division course. If it just says elect XXX3, the course can be upper or lower division. So any number between 1000 and 4999 would be okay in that instance. You can view your planned courses on your major's degree plan by clicking on audit. This will open a new tab where it shows your planned courses in the appropriate places on your degree plan. For more videos about DegreeWorks, visit our website, utsa.edu slash DegreeWorks.